In this screencast, you learn how Windows 7 BitLocker makes it easier for users to secure their data. Organizations have told us that one of the most compelling features of Windows Vista is BitLocker full volume encryption. The ability to encrypt a PC's hard drive, protecting the data if the PC is lost or stolen, can help organizations around the world with their data compliance requirements, and even perhaps help save their corporate reputations and avoid costly fines if one of their users' PCs goes missing. One major piece of feedback, though, is that Microsoft had to provide a data protection solution for removable storage devices. With hundreds of thousands of laptops lost or stolen each year, you can just imagine how many flash drives go missing. Windows 7 provides the ability to encrypt removable storage devices via BitLocker to go and gives the IT administrator the ability to enforce data protection through group policy. Let me show you how. I have a presentation here on Windows 7 security that I need to use on another PC, so I'll copy it to a USB flash disk. You'll notice I get a warning that I need to encrypt the drive before I can write to it. If I don't protect the USB drive with BitLocker, you'll see I'm unsuccessful at copying my data file to the drive since it's mounted read-only. To make it easier for users, discoverability has been enhanced by exposing BitLocker within Windows Explorer. Users now have simple, right-click access to protect a drive as well as to manage keys. This exposes BitLocker to users in an intuitive and natural way that does not require them to dive into the control panel. As you can see, I have the option here of protecting my USB flash disk with either a password or, optionally, a smart card. I'm going to protect this drive with a simple password, and I will save my copy of the recovery password just in case I forget it down the road. While the USB flash disk is encrypting, let's take a look at one of the many usability enhancements to the core technology. BitLocker has been a great driver for Windows Vista deployments. However, one of the more common deployment problems was making sure that the computers had the required dual partitions. Windows 7 BitLocker has been enhanced to automatically create the necessary two disk partitions during a normal install. In addition, the drive size requirements have been reduced to 200 megabytes, and the system partition no longer needs a drive letter. As a result, users cannot see the system partition and inadvertently or purposefully store information on the unencrypted disk volume. Now that the drive is encrypted, you can see that I can write data to it with greater confidence that my data will be safer, even if I happen to lose the USB drive. As long as I remember the passphrase I used to encrypt the disk, I will be able to access the data from any PC. As you've seen, Windows 7 addresses the continued threat of data leakage with manageability and deployment updates to BitLocker Drive Encryption and the introduction of BitLocker to Go an exciting new feature that helps protect data stored on portable media such that only authorized users can read the data even if the media is lost, stolen, or misused.